Hey friends, it's Becca with Beautiful Mess Plants. I am here to film a plan with me in my B6 Sterling Ink. Um, it is inside this Planner Perfect B6 cover. Um, this one is called Stella. Felt very fitting. I also have a cat named Stella. I've mentioned that before, but I've got named Stella. All right. So we are filming for the week of November 18th to the 24th. I'm going to be honest with you. I am exhausted. I have zero energy right now. So I feel like I'm just like, Meh. like, I don't know. Um, so there's that. Okay. Let's get this stuff down. And, um, I know my daughter has art club and I know that she should have science Olympiad. I also know that this is a quiet week, so don't cancel that. <laughs> Because I'm not seeing that doctor anymore. The only other thing is uh, maybe Girls Who Code. Uh, it's the last one. And I think my daughter's pretty much done with it. So, But we do have Girl Scouts. My youngest uh, wanted to join Girl Scouts. So she is now in Girl Scouts. And that's their first meeting. And we're going to Sorar City. So um, it is thankfully a very, very quiet week. Because I feel like we have just been... We're in that stage of life where we just go, go, go. Like nonstop, go go go, and I am, I'm ready for a little bit of a break. Um, and this is actually the last full week before, thanks, uh, fall break or Thanksgiving break. So, um, also kind of looking forward to that. Um, I guess I'll put it up here. We're not gonna leave like super early. I don't know even know what time it opens, but we're going for old time Christmas just for a day. And we are, um, because we're going to stay for like the Christmas tree lighting, probably not going to get up like super early to get going either because, um, we're going to have, be there a little bit later. So we don't want to get up like super early and be super tired. All right. I did my repatha last week, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, I have a couple notes. So we like Dreamlight Valley. It's like the only game I play. They have a release. The expansion game um, will be available on the 20th to buy. And then I have my sticky note that when we put up our Christmas stuff, my mom needs me to take a picture of my kids' Harry Potter ornaments because she can't remember which ones that she's gotten them in the past. Um, so I have those notes there. But otherwise, let's write this stuff in so I don't accidentally cover up anything. in the past my, num my letters might be in my journal so I need to go grab that okay so I have these letters and I do have letters over here I think and I have these but I think I wanted to do the green I don't think I want to do the blue um if you watched my 2025 which is crazy to say lineup video I had put a note in there that since I filmed that video I changed what I want to do reading journal wise and I just got it today and I am so excited about it I think in December I'm going to actually give a like here's how I set up my some of my b6 um regular uh my B6 Sterling Ink, that's going to be like my everyday thing. And I think what I'm going to do is actually also show my reading journal in that video. Um, that way I can play with it a little bit and um, report back. But I am like super excited about it. I will mention for those that are looking for a reading journal, I just, I got it from uh, the Book Sisters shop, I believe is what they're called. And it's like the reading tracker. It wasn't the reading planner. Um, it's super cute. It has everything that I want and I don't have to draw any of it. And that's actually why I ended up changing my mind and um, deciding to change up how I was doing it. 
is because I didn't want to draw any of it out. I wanted to just not. Um, granted, had I planned to, you know, draw it out myself, I could use that planner for a lot longer. But um, quite frankly, I just was done. I was done with the um, drawing. I used a bullet journal actually, and um, I stopped bullet journaling, obviously, at some point. <laughs> um, and maybe one day I will show off my bullet journals again, um, or at some point, but I kind of got tired of drawing everything and I, I used to enjoy it and then I stopped enjoying it. So apparently I've decided to do critters. <laughs> I love this box, but I'm trying to do like as many critters as I can. So where can I put him? Maybe we'll move this snail. We'll put this guy here and maybe the snail can go. Hmm. I'm overthinking this. I'll just put the snail here in the middle, right? Um, so the big thing with the reading journal though, like I was saying, is I just, I started setting it up. I didn't love how the setup came together. And then the idea of going through and like drawing out the calendars, drawing out my recap pages, drawing out my book reviews, just drawing it all out again. It just sounded awful. And I feel like when you have a planner that's meant to be um, fun, then it should be fun. You know, like it should not be a thing that feels like a drag. And that's definitely what um, that was feeling like. So, um, I am super excited about not drawing things out and about this reading journal for this next year. So there's that. And I'll show that off. It'll probably be next month. Um, because we have this one and then... Let's see, this week, you'll see this video on the on the 19th. On the 22nd, you're actually gonna see like uh, spend the week writing with me for the National Novel Writing Month. The next week, my Thursday video will be the December setup, which is kind of nuts. Um, I have something planned. Oh, a flip through. And then I think I have an empty week, which I think is where I'm gonna put in my 2025 setup and my... Um, reading journal and then I will do a January setup and then I will be taking a break like the first full week of the year because I don't really want to work that much over the holidays and I don't want to have to film and edit and do all that so um there's that so I feel like I need to put a quote or something like here. So let's look at what quotes we have. I kind of like the Homebody Club because I'm definitely feeling those vibes. I really like this one. I actually have this on my, this saying on my water bottle. I came, I saw I had anxiety, so I left. Um, hmm. Hmm. The problem sometimes with the quotes is that there's always a bunch of um, like it has its own set of critters and everything on it and I just added a bunch of them and I could technically cut them off some of them are pretty cute though so um Kind of like this one, and I could just cut the fox off and use him in another place. And just, I don't know. Or maybe I use one of these. 
I read to escape time and I write to create it. I kind of like that, especially in light of the fact that it is um, NaNoWriMo or National Novel Writing Month. Um, I still feel like there's a big old empty space here, but I think I'm just going to leave it because, um, I, I'm sure I'll find something to fill it in with. <laughs> so I think that's all. I think that's all I have. And I think that's all I'm actually going to do. Um, like I said, I'm like super low energy today. And unfortunately I'm going to a dodgeball tournament tonight and I'm not playing, which is, you know, something. I'm not playing, but I do not want to go. I love my son. I really do. And I love to go to all of his things. But it's Friday night. I'm exhausted. Watching dodgeball, not in my sweatpants, and being around a bunch of people is not high on my list. So I need to, like, gather myself and get some energy and hype up so that I can go do that and root him on tonight. Um, so anyway... Uh, this is what I'm doing. So sorry about such a low energy, less, not very chatty, um, video. This is just where I'm at today, I guess. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video despite me and, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.